Okay, in this video I'm going to be doing a camera upgrade for the uh, Tyra 99. I've just taken the uh, other side of the cage off of here and the little top pieces here so I can just remove this one side and I've taken the original camera out, the one I'm going to uh, swap out. And uh, I recommended earlier that you can either use uh, this camera here, this is a Fox here. Euro Micro, you, uh, you can get this for about 20 bucks, and there's also a Cadex uh, Turbo S1 or a Micro F1. I'll put links to all those cameras in the description. They're all this; they're all going to be this micro size, which is a 19 by 19, which obviously is you know, smaller than the full size camera that's in the original. So you're going to need an adapter. And so I printed out this little uh, part here. It's just printed in TPU. I could probably printed in PLA. TPU should be fine. You just uh, you know, you screw in your screws that come with the camera into this adapter here and then this hole here should line up with the hole in the side here and I just give you an idea what it looks like it's going to look kind of like this and you'll see that the camera now is going to be a lot better protected so it shouldn't stick out too much and you'll have a little bit more adjustment angle now uh, one of the things that's going to be an issue is the connector here this is going to be too big for this camera. It's a little bit wider pitch and it's meant for this other camera. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to do a little more soldering. You're going to have to cut this connector off and then solder the three wires, which is the yellow video ground, uh, which is black, and the red, which is a power, onto the uh, cable that the ca this camera came with. This camera came with a uh, with the Fox here. And so you're going to have to find the corresponding three wires here and we'll just pull this apart. This one, this particular camera has an OSD joystick connection right here which is off to the side and this voltage sensor line which uh, I'm not going to be using so I'm going to probably pull this wire out and the three wires that we want to use are these here, um, the red, the black and the yellow. So I'm just going to cut this off and then solder that onto the other end of here and then I can just plug this into the back of my micro camera and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, so I got the camera installed here and it looks pretty good. Um, you can see now the lens is further back so it's got better protection and you can still adjust the angle here if you want a more shallow angle you can do that or a more aggressive angle you can do that. So I think that having this in TPU is also going to help with uh, a little vibration dampening and probably won't see too much jello, although this particular one's a CC camera, so even if there was a vibration, you wouldn't see much jello anyway. I think that this is going to work out a lot better, at least for me. Um, this camera is way better than the stock camera, so if you're looking for a better a flight experience, definitely check out this camera. And of course, I'll put a link to the uh, 3D printer part in the description. Now you probably print it out if you have a 3D printer or have someone print it out for you. I'm sure they can print it out for a pretty reasonable price. It's a small part so it shouldn't take too long or cost too much to print that out. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the VTX back on and I'll uh, put a new antenna on here. And I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll go and take this for a fly. Okay, so for those of you guys that are interested, this is my alternative antenna setup. I'm using a really CC UX2 antenna. It has a direct MCX connection to the video transmitter. Just using a couple zip ties there and some heat shrink to hold it in place. It's uh, fairly rigid, it's not going to be going anywhere and it should be pretty well protected out of the props. And uh, should get much better reception with this antenna. If you guys are interested in this part, I'll also put this in the description as well. And now onto the flight footage. Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, these PIDs here from the last time. And I'm not sure if, there's, if they're going to work better or not. We'll just start off here as a base point. And I'm running with a new camera and video transmitter antenna now. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot smoother now without the GoPro on there. I'm getting uh, flickering in the OSD that I wasn't getting before. So 
So I'm not sure if that's the camera or if that's the video transmitter. I mean, the reception seems okay. It's a little, a little suspect right now. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of the video transmitter. Yeah, this is actually a lot better now without the GoPro on top. It's pr pr actually pretty smooth. And because there's no GoPro on top, it's a lot faster. You can see here. Yeah, it's much, much smoother now. So this is just a tune that I pulled off of one of the Betaflight um, tuning guides. I think it was 3.5. And just based off a few things, I thought maybe this was maybe not the cleanest quad because it is, is using kind of lower end components. So the filtering is a little bit different. I think that will keep the motors cool and also help with oscillations. Oh, and the other thing that I did change is I upped the gyro rate from 2 kilohertz to 8 kilohertz. So it was before this was running on 8 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz. And I thought that was a little bit too low. I didn't, I hadn't noticed that at first. And this is, a, this is actually a 32 kilohertz gyro or 32 kilohertz capable gyro. So you can definitely do more. So I thought having a little bit higher uh, pit loop would help with the tune and I, I think that made a big difference. So I think the default is 8 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz out of the box. On, um, I mean just flash it and I think that's what they did. And uh, I think that's I think this also makes a pretty big difference. Obviously getting rid of the extra weight helps a lot especially because these are some lower kV motors. This is tracking really nicely. Yeah, I'm noticing that the OSD flickers when I um, hit the gas, <laughs> when I punch the throttle. So I think there might be something wrong with the video transmitter. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. Yeah, so, so far I've only changed the VTX antenna and the camera. So I think I'm, total additional investment is about $26, I think. Yeah, this is this is actually pretty pretty good. And without having the GoPro on there makes a big difference. Okay, I think I'm about out of battery now. About four minutes of flight, so can't complain. It's pretty good. What do you guys think of this tune? You like it? Let me know in the comments below.